folks, how are you doing? I hope that I find you all very well and you're all having a great day. And a warm welcome to those of you who are new here. Yep, so welcome to you as well. This is just the part of the week, as you'll know by now that I show you what we got in our food shop, you know, for tea during the week, all that kind of thing. Sometimes we go to Lidl, sometimes we go to Tesco or Asda. This week we went to Aldi. We had a wee run of going to um, Lidl for quite a few weeks, but we've gone back to Aldi the last couple of weeks. So, yep, so it's back to Aldi this week just to see what they've got because Aldi does kind of change, you know, bits and bobs that they've got from week to week. So it's always quite interesting to pop in just to see what they've got. So this is my local Aldi shop. It's quite big, actually. It's not as big as the Lidl that we go to, but it's quite a big shop. Usually get lots of choice and selection. So yeah, we're quite happy with this one. And this is what we got. Not the biggest haul in the world, but yeah, it's just what we needed really. I think we spent around £60 in Aldi and about £15 in Tesco. So that's about 75 altogether. Yeah, 57 77 there in Aldi. So let's go and see what we got. So I picked up this milk. I mean, there aren't a lot of big milk drinkers in the house. I don't drink milk. Mr. Watts for Tea has it from time to time and the other two don't bother with it. And I picked up some butter, some marmalade. This coffee I love. I got this a couple of weeks ago and it's now ran out. So I've got another one. It's wonderfully smooth. A pack of six sparkling water. I'd go through water like you wouldn't believe. So yeah, so the sparkling one lasts a bit longer. <laughs> My usual yogurts, I've got three natural and two flavoured. These are only 89p and I think they're about 500 grams. You know, it's the big pots and they're so creamy. So I highly recommend them if you like yogurt. I always pick up a loaf of bread, but I mean, we've got a freezer. We've got a chest freezer out in the garage and it's full of these kind of things. I picked up these wee cherry scones because I thought they looked lovely. I usually make my own scones, but I'm not going to have a great deal of time this week for baking or anything other than the fern cake. So I picked these up and some eggs. These were requested. I don't like eggs. <laughs> these are just medium organic. I think they might be free range. I'm not sure. It was Mr. What's for Tea that picked these up. And then this coffee, I mean, I'm a coffee addict. I love coffee. And I thought this looked quite interesting. This is hot cross bun flavour. Hmm. Usual vine tomatoes because these go with everything. I thought this fish looked quite interesting. There's going to be a night. It's only going to be me and Mr. What's for tea. So I'm going to give that a go. And some carrots. And I usually get tomato juice, but I'm switching it up and I'm trying light cranberry juice instead. It's a bit lighter, not as heavy. And again, we usually have garlic bread with pasta, but I've seen this garlic pizza bread and I thought I'd try that for a wee change. The usual crumpets, we all love these. They're lovely in the toaster with a good bit of butter on the top. They're so Moorish and cheap as well. And then some sourdough bake at home baguettes. We always get these. We've got a stock in the freezer as well. And again, I'm not going to have a lot of time this week for cooking, baking, that kind of thing. So I've seen this wee pie, so I thought I'd try that. And these are just some ground almonds for the wee fern cakes that I'm making later on. And we'll probably be having a salad in the next few days. So I picked up some coleslaw and then I got some bacon because I got this bacon last week and it was lovely. And we're completely out of olive oil. So this is the olive oil that Aldi had. So I picked up one of them, two bags of salad, two different kinds. A wee pack of blueberries. We always, we always um, pick up a pack of these for Mr. What's for Tea's mother. She likes these. A wee thing of sweet mini peppers. These are lovely on a salad. Jersey Royals. I picked up two of these because we're actually on offer. I think these were like 60 pence a bag, which is crazy. Because they're normally about 120, 150 elsewhere. Some pineapple chunks. I was going to buy a whole pineapple, but it was £1.50 and I've seen this at 140 and there's no waste. So I thought I'm going to go with that. Some strawberry jam. Again, this is for the fern cakes. 
Good old strawberry Scottish jam there. Now I picked these up, another channel that I watched, The Family Seesaw, she gets these every single week and I was so intrigued. So I said, I'm going to pick them up and see what they're like. And I got some alcohol-free beer. I just fancied a beer, but I'm not looking to get drunk midweek. <laughs> so I picked up the alcohol-free version just to see what it's like. And then a big pack of blueberries. Do you know what? This pack was actually cheaper than the smaller pack because these were actually half price. And again, for a salad during the week, I picked up some white Stilton. Now I've had this before and it's beautiful. It's so sweet and creamy. It's not strong at all. And this is the one with the apricots in it. A pack of OT biscuits. Mr. What's for Tea likes these with a cup of tea. A wee chocolate pen. I'm going to use these on the fern cakes later on just to do the design on the top. Some caster sugar just to top up the stock that I've got there. And the same with ice and sugar. I've got a great big box. I keep all of these kind of things. I just tip them in and top them up. And then a roll of kitchen towel. This stuff is wonderful. It's so absorbent. A wee bag of pasta. I got this instead of macaroni just for a wee change. Some bin bags because we were out of bin bags. And then there's Jasper's shop in there. So we get two packs of Sheba Fresh Choice. I think there's five or six pouches in each one. And he's still got some there from last week. So this will do him for the week. And some wee sticks as well for munching on. These are the salmon ones. These are his favourite. <laughs> Tried him with the chicken. It wasn't so keen. Then I've seen this fresh soup. Again, I usually make my own soups and in particular I've got a great recipe for cullen skink soup on the channel. But I'm not going to have a great deal of time this week so I picked up two just to take into work. And I've had this before and it's wonderful. Some ice lollies just for the freezer for a warm day. And also for the freezer I got a bag of corn. This is really versatile. And my usual big bag of peas which we go through like you wouldn't believe. So yeah, so I think that was it. Yeah, I don't think I've missed anything out this week. I usually get comments with people saying, oh, you forgot to mention this or you forgot to mention that. It was really quite difficult because I'm trying to look through the viewfinder uh, just to make sure, you know, everything's in shot and I do, you do have the tendency to sort of skip over things. It's not until you watch the footage back, you know, later that you realise that you've missed certain things. But by then, obviously, all the shopping's away. It's in the freezer and the cupboard and the fridge and, you know, you're not going to pull it all out again just to mention one thing. So what I do is, if I do notice that I've missed something, I'll pop the price on the screen anyway just to give you an idea of the price. So yeah, that was our wee shopping haul. There were some bits and bobs in there from Tesco, like the strawberry jam, the chocolate pen, uh, the Shiba cat food. I'm trying to think what else was from Tesco. But you'll, you, if you're an Aldi shopper, you'll know that certain things were not from Aldi. So I should have mentioned that in the video. There, was, there wasn't much. It was only 10 or 15 pounds worth of shopping from Tesco. But anyway, so yep, yeah, so that was our wee shopping haul this week. And I will be back later on with the Ferdin cakes. A lot of you are looking forward to seeing that. And I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to making them as well. They're an absolute cracking wee cake. And if you've never heard of a Ferdin cake, you've probably heard of a Bakewell or a Cherry Bakewell. They're very, very, very similar to like a wee Bakewell tart. Really Moorish, absolutely delicious. You know, it's, it's a very traditional wee cake in this country. And not that many people know about them, surprisingly. So yeah, I'll go over that in the video. So that should be up probably about six o'clock, I'd imagine. I've still to make them, then I'll video, you know, do the video. I'll edit the video, do the voiceover and get it up. Um, I'm off today, but I've got a lot of housework to do. I've got a few errands to do, and then I've got the tea to make later on. So I'll get that up as soon as I can for you. So until I see you next, guys, mind to take care of yourselves. And from our house to yours, lots of love and bye for now. Bye now.